Hello and welcome to this Kipware QTE video. In this video we will illustrate the ease and power of creating a cost estimate and quotation with Kipware QTE. On the screen is a part print for the sample workpiece we will be using in the estimate. The material is 4140 and we have previously created a cycle time estimate using Kentekas Kipware CYC in a previous video. In that video we used Kipware CYC to estimate the time to perform the rough and finish turning operations on a lathe and to perform spot drill, drill, and mill operations on a machining center. We will now turn that cycle time estimate into a cost estimate including material cost, perishable tooling cost, labor costs based on our cycle time estimate, and all non-machining costs. The final result will be a formatted quotation we can send to our client in response to their request for quotation. We will begin by entering the reference information for the estimate including company name, part name, print number etc. This is related and reference information that can be used at a later date to confirm and identify the estimate. Every estimate starts with a base quantity for which the estimate is created. Using this base quantity Kipware QTE can perform all the amortization and calculations to create an estimate and quotation for up to six different quantities. Our base quantity will be 350 pieces in this example. The user can also include scrap costs based on where the scrap is most likely to result and what costs would be incurred at that point. In our example we will assume that the part will most likely be scrapped during the machining process, and we will associate material, tooling and labor costs into the scrap cost estimate. Before we begin the actual costing, we can review the databases employed by Kipware QTE to decrease the amount of data entry and to enhance consistency and accuracy in your quoting process. The material database allows users to store material specs and related costs can be based on weight, length, bar stock, plate stock, and individual piece. All databases have an unlimited capacity which adds a lot of flexibility and options for information stored in the databases. The perishable tooling database stores tool names and associated costs for tools used in the manufacturing on the shop floor. Do you include perishable tool costs in your estimates? They are often not included but add a considerable cost to the manufacturing process and to the cost of production. This area illustrates an important point to define that Kipware QTE was created by real engineers and machinists who understand the real world of the shop floor. The work center database contains not only the hourly rate for each machine, but an efficiency factor for each machine. We all know that 8 hours work does not result in 8 hours of production. Kipware QTE will use the efficiency factor to determine actual time required for the production run and create labor costs accordingly. Non-machining costs can be stored in the non-machining database using an hourly rate, fixed cost, or per piece cost. Again, our real-world design allows for the inclusion of say deburring or packing using a reduced hourly rate or a per piece cost. Costs like deburring and packing are not commonly included but again represent a significant cost in production. Kipware QTE makes it quick and easy to include such costs in your estimate. The final database is our markup database. Here the user can set default markup percentages for all the major areas of the quote like material, tooling, labor, programming and setup and non-machining costs. Kipware QTE will automatically apply these markup percentages when calculating costs. Returning to our example, we will now start the costing process beginning with the material cost. The user can utilize a material stored in the database, or enter information manually. We will use the 4140, 8 inch diameter bar stored in our database. The manual entry required is for the length of the workpiece. The finished part is 1.375 so we will use 1.500 as the stock requirement. If we perform a calculate cost, we can now see the material cost and amount of material required based on our previously defined base quantity of 350 pieces. Next we will cost out our perishable tooling. We can easily select inserts to rough and finish the turning operations as well as spot drill, drill, reamers as well as end mills to rough and finish the pocket on the machining center. Kipware QTE uses an estimated tool life to determine the numbers of each tool that will be required and all the associated costs.
Once all the inputs are complete, we can perform a calculate cost routine. We can now see that all the costs for the perishable tooling have been calculated. Also created is an in-depth bill of materials illustrating the number of each tool required and all the associated costs. The next area is labor costs. Users have multiple options for inputting labor costs. The complete cycle time can be entered as single operation, each operation on each machine can be entered individually, or a cycle time estimate prepared through Kentekis KIP where CYC can be imported. We had previously created a cycle time estimate in Kipware CYC and we imported it into this quote. You can see that the cycle time included 9 operations. 4 on the lathe and 5 on the machining center. Kipware QTE looked at each operation and each machine and matched up the hourly rate and efficiency factor from our database to create a complete labor costs to machine the part. If we do a calculate cost routine we can see the complete breakdown for each operation for each machine and all the related costs. Kipware CYC and Kipware QTE make a powerful combination that will add consistency and accuracy to your quoting. Kipware CYC ensures that calculated cycle times accurately reflect what will actually happen on your shop floor. Using speeds and feeds and machine specs that accurately reflect your shop flow and what will happen on it is the key to accurate cycle time estimating. During the estimating process, performing a calculate cost operation allows the user to see the progress of the estimate. We can easily and quickly identify high-priced areas, and perhaps look at different what-if scenarios to tackle those areas of high costs. This is the beauty of using the PC and Kipware QTE, being able to adjust on the fly but still have complete confidence in the numbers being produced. The Calculate Costs screen gives us a complete breakdown of all areas of the quote including all material requirements and costs as well as even numbers and costs for each tool being used in the manufacture. This screen can also be used to output a complete bill of material so the shop can be ready when the job hits the production schedule. Non-machining costs is the next area for our estimate. Here we will enter the estimated programming and set up times for the required CNC turning and milling operations. We can use a different hourly rate than the machine rate perhaps based on the complexity or simplicity of the part and the difficulty of the machine setup. Now we will employ those real-world features of Kipware QTE to include those often overlooked costs. We will include the burring and packing along with an estimated time frame for each. As you can see they add a significant cost to the part that is often overlooked and which can result in the job actually losing money. Kipware QTE makes it quick and easy to include tasks that would otherwise be ignored, but that add a significant price to the cost of doing business. With all areas covered, we can create a quotation to send off to our client. Opening the quotation creation screen you can see that we can enter up to six different quantities based off of our 350 base quantity. We can assign different discount factors if we would like as well as define different delivery schedules based on those quantities. The settings can be used to define default payment terms and shipping options specific to your shop. We can then output the quotation using the predefined form that is included with Kipware QTE or output the quote to a CSV file to import into Excel or as a simple text file for importing and manipulation in Word or other word processing application. Additional outputs are available from the estimate and include the creation of a bill of materials, a packing slip and even an invoice based directly from the estimate created in Kipware QTE. As you can see from our example, Kipware QTE is a simple yet powerful quoting and estimating application based on real-world design. Kipware QTE cuts through the unnecessary complexity and clutter of overblown MRP and ERP packages to provide users with a real-world quoting and estimating option. Click the link below or the link in the description for pricing and purchase options for all of Kanteka's real-world quoting and estimating applications. Thank you.